Alright, back at it. For you to complete your dungeon runs. One of the annoying things when you're playing on mobile it's, and you don't have a stylus tend to make a lot of mishaps. <laughs> yeah, just like Now this is, um, you do a quest for him, um, him and it's either, uh, you go mine all, or kill a bat, or invade, um, pickaxe. Pretty simple. <coughs> and then give him two items identified, and not curse. And you can upgrade them. So in this case, I'm gonna give him scale armor and this scale armor, and it'll be plus four. So kill a bat. Alright. Just throw this here to make up some room. Take that. Take that too. And then we go kill a bat. So I'm pretty sure it's just the finishing blow, so you can weaken a little bit. We'll say less spell. Or shooting. Then kill it with a axe at the end, and I'm pretty sure that's all it takes. Alright, scroll of upgrade. We're we'll gonna upgrade our armor. I usually like to upgrade armor until it's plus let's say six. Because anything I prefer than that, then it removes like um, stuff that's added to it. Got this floor all cleared, so we'll go see if there's any back from the other floor. Come back up. Oh, there we go. Go back and we'll shoot it. I want to quit uh, the pickaxe. Oops, not mine. Quit. And then for the back. Obviously, don't do that if you're low on health because. Equip your weapon. Get around this way. Yep, this guy. Yep. And then put my two armor in. And forge. And plus five. So it's better than nothing. And that's the um, ring of wealth. Just prop just them. So when you do do it, it actually, okay, it didn't, sometimes it wipes it from the stuff that's on it. I don't like that one, so let's change it. Potential, this is, this is what you want from ages. So, um, increases your charge rate. Alright, let's deal with the boss. So, we're gonna run up down up here, get the boss to come out. And then shoot him. And here you've got to look for the tile that doesn't have the falling rocks. Then he becomes invincible and you can't kill him. So what you need to do is run down the hill to block him off a little bit. Which actually didn't work out very well. So I think we will, um, here we go, potion of pace works really well, 
so that he doesn't hit you. And then usually I like to shield myself. And then kill, it, kill that, and then it takes off his mouth really. And then you deal with the boss. Yeah. And then you go do it, he becomes invincible again. And the way how you know where to go is the direction the electricity is going. So it's going to be down in the bottom left corner. And if you touch it, it hurts. Alright, so I'm chill myself. Kill it. Right, kill the boss. And that's it. Easy peasy. Even you can do it. Pick up this. I just sell them because I don't think it's worth crafting. But if you want to do it, then go ahead. Uh, find the shopkeeper. Sell the stuff. I could run back and sell the other stuff, but you know, I can't bother. So yeah. So this and this, and then buy the scroll holder. Um, I also go for potion of healing. Um, another one over here. Um, I, no more gold, but I'll be, like to get magic mapping good too. Yep. And let's just. Pop one right now. Yep. Yum, yum, yum. And let's um do this. Shouldn't kill me. Because I've got 105 plus 78. Frick it. Yeah. 138. Alright. So the last one is like probably 180. Mm, well, that looks right now. Alright. That was the um, Ring of Wealth popped again. Oh, and this is another one where you jump down and so you clear the floor and you'll jump down there. Let's fill up our hunger. Which way do we have quite a bit? Scroll upgrade. So what I'm gonna do is upgrade our oh, mm, yeah we've got arm again. And yeah, I yeah, usually yeah. leave it at six. I don't get any more than that. And then I start upgrading my rings. These guys will want to buy them at a distance. Look at this right here. It's got a lot of damage to me and it curses me. So it's just like the um, other guys on the other floors. Don't want to fight them at a distance. You want to go close up. So stand at the door and then wait. Yep, see again. So I'm going to just wait for him to come and take him on there. Alright, 
Yeah, these guys, Blonde G. Now, I'll go back down here. This is pretty good, so um, more experience you get, more it charges, and then you can steal stuff from the uh, merchant. But I don't need it, so I'm just going to sell it. So we sell this, sell this, and then we'll grab that magic mapping. Yep. Um, another potion of healing. Grab that. And then we'll jump down the hole. up a bit, uh, shield ourselves, make some food, and remember to not move around because we're going to take double damage. Timekeeper's hourglass, that's another good one. Um, phrases you or Raises people around you, but I like my two rings and um, my chocolate. Roll of upgrade. Or something, we got 72. Do the same thing with the of strength. Increase it. Increase. So if I shield myself, it should work. I think the last one is 180 or 200. And then 10 is the final one. Alright, let's um, upgrade this. Uh, that's pretty much it. Also, bowl of food. Mm, pretty much done. Move on. Okay, I'm going to save it up from a distance. Here we 
looking pretty light on the house, so I'm going to heal up. These monks, you, they block parallel attacks, so you, you kind of want to kill them at a distance. This guy here, Bishop Zim, gives you a ring. And what's good about the ring, once you kill five monks and hand them the bounty, is that the ring is um, got plus roll on it. So it's always got plus something. So it's very worth doing. And also the um, shop. So the next shop is him. And it won't um, appear unless you complete that quest. Crap baskets. Um, okay, let's just, um, if we need to, I'll just teleport out. I'm not going to hit that monk because you can parry your attacks. This basically just blocks. And he dropped me a um, quest thing for the imp. And if it's not monks, these guys that you gotta kill, it's always a monk for. Uh, Alright, stand here. I'm gonna drink some health, and then reload. And there we go. If you try fighting, you get carried. Need one more.
Now we're gonna go and grab the ring. There we go. The ring is always cast. Keep that in mind. Cleanse it. Um, we don't have a cleanser. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the shop and buy cleanser from the shop. On the ring. And now you see it's plus three. This is pretty useless to me because sharp shooting. So we're gonna transmute it into something better. Ring of accuracy. Now that's okay. Um, it's not really useful again. So because we're casting spells mostly, so we're gonna transmute that again. Ring of Force. Mm. Eh, it's not really useful for us. Yeah, we're gonna have to transmit that again. If we find another one, we'll sell this. Yeah. Potion of strength. This is always good to have them. So we want that scroll of upgrade before I leave this floor.
I'm not going to bother with it. Don't need to. And he drops some um, armor and weapons. Let's go to the upgrade. Let's move on. We're going to upgrade our ring gear, because I like to get it to about four or five. Um, we don't need a ring of help wealth, so we'll put this, because might as well. Um, now, I should be able to max out my thing. Yeah, I should, because it does. Oh, yeah, 130 plus 144. So that's um, 200, yeah. So that's easy prick. <coughs> yep. Now we want to get our charges back up. And our health. Do you see how my health went? Because I have it maxed out. So that's very good. Now I like to do while I'm fighting this guy is drink a um, elixir toxic essence. So you do basically get spirit and toxin around you. So now I got the ring maxed out, chills the blood. It's gonna make it very easy. I'll take damage. Alright, so now this gives you another skill set. Get this. And you pick one out of these three. I like doing a walking beacon for the mage. Because it lets you teleport um, to wherever you put the beacon down. Now, see the imp again? Because we completed the quest. He comes back as a shopkeeper. If we didn't complete his quest, then he wouldn't be here. So that's why it's always good to complete that quest. And get some torches are good too, because the next dungeon's really dark. And then we'll place our warping beacon here, right there. And I'll show you how it works. Last four 
not all of our um, tail forward. We need to box. Now these guys, when he charges, you want to get away from the beam. As you can see here, well, I just do it. You can just turn and do it. And while he's charging, he takes less damage. So you don't want to go hitting him while he's charging. charge up a jump, you want to move out of the way, or then they do bleed damage, or walk back into the doorway, so everyone's hitting me at a time. upgrade and upgrade my ring again yum, yum, yum. Uh, it's always good if you're going to be exploring one of these floors is to take out this because it spawns these guys and it will just keep spawning them until you do What's good if you had fight one and five blast or um, uh, oh there you go, you see the bleeding addition there. This is, I usually like to put a poison down and run out and then wait and let them burn or something. Deal with these guys as they come through the door. But I don't have more than five blasts. Or, um, punches.
So we're going to clear our wall picking. Place a new one down. So. We'll end the video on this. Alright.